Hello everyone, my name is Tawana Russell Craig, and welcome to I Just Learned. I'm vlogging and not doing a podcast. I told you I'm going to learn this thing on my journey of transformation. So um, I'm listening to whoever wants to help a sister out and to educate her on the things that we're doing. So I'm learning that there's a difference um, in podcasting as well as vlogging. So we'll get into that on another episode. So again, my name is Tawana Russell Craig. I am a transformational speaker as well as a transformational coach. And um, I just come on here and I talk to you about the different things that are happening in my transformation in this new chapter of my life. So a few weeks back, of course, we all know it was Father's Day. And some people who are in my inner circle know that Father's Day um, is pretty hard for me. And so I wanted to come on on Father's Day, but I didn't want to mess up Father's Day for the amazing dads that are out there. So I decided to just wait and hold this one until, you know, Father's Day had passed. But I do want to say I pray that um, all you amazing fathers had an amazing Father's Day and um, you just were celebrated uh, on your day. So the reason that I say that Father's Day has always been very difficult for me, and that this is, again, to want to be very transparent, is I didn't have that uh, relationship with my dad that I would have liked to have. My dad lived in Arkansas. We live here in Los Angeles. And um, for the reasons that uh, we were separated um, from each other was to do with issues with he and my mom. And my mom did what was best for her children, moving us here to Los Angeles. And again, that is another episode about my dad. But for right now, I'm, I'm speaking on why Father's Day is so difficult for me because I never had that father-daughter relationship. I see some of you amazing dads out there who are um, really doing great things with your daughters and with your sons. And, you know, people say, well, why do you, you know, why do you give props to dads? That's what they're supposed to do. Exactly. That is what they're supposed to do. But we know that all dads don't do that. And so um, I don't see anything wrong with us giving props to the dads that are really out there doing it. We, we give it to our moms as well. So kudos to the dads. So with me, you know, I look at Father's Day and I, you know, I hear the people say this was the first man that I ever loved or whoever loved me, or this is the first man who taught me uh, what to look for in a man and, you know, the father-daughter dances and, you know, my first date with my dad, all of that, all of that, that goes with um, having a relationship with your father, I never had. And so... Um, later on in the years, we started to develop a relationship, but by then I was older and all of the stuff that could have been taught to me um, at a younger age was never taught to me. So I was learning this new dad and how to walk this walk and, you know, this terrain with him as a teenager, because that's when we really started to kind of get to know each other and over the years, you know, we formed a relationship, but it was never the relationship that you would have had with your dad when you were uh, with him from birth. Uh, and so those are the things that I've missed. So when Father's Day come along, it kind of um, makes me kind of sad because I can't say those things about my dad. Did I love my dad? Yes. Did, did I, do I believe that my dad loved me? Absolutely. Because when, um, when my dad became ill, um, I had to go get him and I brought him here with me. And for the last two years of his life, you know, I had to take care of him. And so I had to put away all the other stuff that was in my heart because he was my dad. And I wanted to make sure he was taking care of his last days, but it still didn't take away the pain. I'm going to use that word. It still didn't take away the pain that I had for not having that special relationship with my dad. So Father's Day, it's, it's still difficult. At 59, it's still difficult because I missed a lot. And, you know, I hear people say you can't miss something that you never had. That is so not true. Stop saying that. 
stop saying that. You can miss stuff that you never had. I missed um, not having my dad. I missed the talks that I should have had with my dad. You know, him telling me who I should be with or giving me examples of what a godly man should be, giving me examples of what a husband should be, giving me an example of what my um, partners, uh, my future husband should be because I didn't have that example. I didn't know what to look for and I made some mistakes. Um, and we, you, we know that the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor with the Lord. And so early on, I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be the one that was pursuing, right? So, you know, I, you know, you know, you say, oh, what am I looking for? I should have sat still and let that man pursue me, you know, and this is not shade to different relationships or my marriage that I had. This is, this is what I'm saying. Um, not being able to know what to accept and know what to look for in a person or in my life partner, my husband, right? So, um, that's why Father's Day is kind of difficult for me. And I just kind of wanted to share that because I don't know if someone out there is having that same issue and just not know how to um, how to share that or how to deal with that or how to cope with that or how to just like bring that to the surface, right? And so that's why I kind of do these little short um, segments just to give some people something to think about, right? Maybe um, something that I say uh, in these short little segments will help you be able to say, yeah, that's me. Wow, I've been feeling the same way and I thought I was doing this all by myself. I thought I was the only one that was feeling this way. You are not alone. You are not alone because it happens. And you wonder why you feel certain things in certain ways. And it could be because, you know, there was no one to 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 um, to show you the way, right? So I started writing a book, right? And one of the chapters, I think I was titling it "Daddy's Girls Has Daddy Issues," right? Um, because I believe I have daddy issues, uh, and I'm working through that. And the way that I'm working through that is to acknowledge that I had or have daddy issues, and some of the things is I wish I would have been able to talk to him about it before he passed away. But I, I wasn't where I am right now, right? Because the old Tawana would never be on here sharing this because I would have thought that this was a private topic and nobody needs to know what happens in your private life. Now, trust me, there are some things that you will never know about Tawana because I do believe that there are things that should be kept private. Those are things that are between you and God and he is the only one that can help you get through that but he allows me to say certain things right to certain people this is something that I've been wanting to say for it for the last two three weeks and I just had not said it and um, I do believe that today was the day for me to be able to say that so I'm on here today talking to you about daddy's girl had daddy's issues so I pray that something that I said today will be able to resonate with you and that you will be able to break through those barriers that you may be having at this particular time, whether or not it's daddy issues, mommy issues, brother's issues, sister's issues, cousin's issues, friend's issues, whatever it is that is holding you captive and keeping you in bondage. I want you to be able to release that, okay? And I forgot to say this at the beginning. Have a super terrific amazing day on purpose because I will be watching because we support those who believe they could but struggled with if they should and as always the transformation will be televised have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next vlog bye